Welcome to this video today about science. It's part of a series on ways that spirituality, science, and faith blend together, helping us to explore who we are and what it means to be a human being. Science. It aids our understanding of the natural world, how it came to be, how we came to be, how the world has changed, is changing, and what needs to be done today to sustain future life. First, let's define what exactly is science. According to the Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Science is a body of knowledge about or a study of the natural world based on facts that we have learned through experimentation. And that experimentation can be replicated again and again. Anything miraculous or supernatural does not fit into the definition of science because it cannot be replicated. There are specific areas of scientific research, such as biology and physics and chemistry, theology, archaeology, many other disciplines within each scientific field of research and inquiry. Science is also the state of knowing something. It is knowledge, distinguished from ignorance, or misunderstanding. Knowledge or a system of knowledge covers general truths or the operation of general laws. Gravity would be a good example of that. Gravity applies to us on Earth. It applies to the solar system. It also applies throughout the entire universe. Now, the fruits of basic scientific research reveal truths of the natural world that are then used to develop technologies. Technologies are useful applications of scientific research that spring from the human imagination. Currently used technologies, often taken for granted among us, especially those in the affluent areas of the world, include the means for adequate food production, housing, electricity, cars, mass transit, global internet communications, medical health care devices like artificial knees and hips, shoulders, hearts, pacemakers, and stem cell research, and all the medicines that we have to extend life. Now, ironically, many cultures without the sophisticated technologies and scientific resources that we have here in our developed world and tools that we have developed from the basic science research that has been done over many decades, they have longer health spans than wealthier countries. For example, the United States ranks 46th of the world's nations in the lifespans of women and men here. Nevertheless, technologies are developed from the blending of sciences with the needs and the desires of humans in mind. For example, in some cultures, farming technologies are augmented by the sciences of agriculture, chemistry, physics, and biology, producing an overabundance of food, much of which unfortunately is wasted in a country like the U.S. While even here, there are many who are poor and hungry as elsewhere in the world. Now, this is a brief overview of the sciences and resulting technologies that come from science research. Next time, we'll explore some ethical considerations before new technologies are designed, developed, 
and implemented. For example, uh, will a proposed new drug or a medical device truly advance healthcare? Or is the suggested technology driven mostly by a business decision rather than medical decisions? This is for an ethical discussion. Simply because we can build something, something new from a scientific discovery, does not mean it's the best thing to build. We know that because that has happened in our past. Nuclear weapons that can destroy the e ecosystems of Earth, along with humanity and every other living species many times over, are the prime example. Other technologies, they depend upon the use of energy from fossil fuels, causing global warming. Science is being used now to develop new, techno <coughs> pardon me, new technologies for cleaner, renewable energy sources. The evolution of scientific research and the resulting technologies are two signs that humans are able to learn, to define the and understand our environments, and change our environment in order to survive. There is no other species capable of that. Through the sciences, we have learned how independent, or interdependent rather, we are on every other species. We cannot take a bite of food without an understanding that that food has come to us from another evolved species on Earth all the way down to the very smallest bacteria which helps us to digest our foods. Science has, however, been unable to un unravel the complexity of the human mind to know the origins of consciousness, imagination, and creativity. To accomplish those goals will, I think, require science to coordinate with other fields, Fields that include creativity and imagination, and those include practices of art, music, theology, psychology, and even humor and play. We'll pick up the importance of science and ethics next time. I want to thank you for your time today. Please pass this along to others and contact me if you would like to share your thoughts.